Hi all, I'm Arvind Panian. In today's video, we're going to see on Infosys Limited. The only question we would have in mind is like, is it right time to buy Infosys now? Because it has corrected a lot or it comparatively can we buy some other good IT stocks. So we will see all those details and we'll also compare with some of the IT stocks just to see comparatively which could give us higher yield and so on. So it's going to be a detailed video. Do not miss anything. So let's start right now. Nifty. When we look at the Nifty index itself, it has corrected a lot. Compared like this, this what like the main weighted stocks have pulled it down. And looking at the Nifty index, IT index, it, it itself looks little weak. So I don't see, uh, you know, a quick jump coming in the index currently. Okay. And uh, the same goes to the IT stocks also. Let's move further. Infosys drops 7% and this article talks about the weakness in the IT sector. Yes, of course, many of the IT companies ha have been, you know, overrated, meaning like uh, many of have purchased an overvaluation and they like the market have corrected it a bit for the IT shares. So the again, the main million dollar question, where it going to come and stop? that you will come to know when we see the technical charts. So have some patience for now. And uh, we could also see some targets for Infosys. So the target is given by S Security. What they're giving is like 2018 as rupees target. So is it a worth to buy now? We will see that also. And the main important thing I want to highlight here is, is this one. So they, they tell that you could get this profit mainly by financial year 2024. So this is something which is hidden inside. So to get this profit, you have to wait for two years. Is it worth? That we will see also. Okay. Now looking at the overall graph. So this is a five years graph and it is a, in a huge steep correction right now, which we see. It's a large cap stock. It's an IT sector, booming sector. Nothing uh, wrong with the sector or nothing wrong with the company also. It's financials, EBITDA, related with PBT and uh, EPS and so on. So everything is extraordinarily good. Nothing wrong with the company. So you should not be worried if it's a wrong, you know, uh, something doing wrong, uh, something crashed. No, it's a, as you are already aware, this is a global impact for all the IT companies, especially in India. Okay. And when you look at the mutual fund holding, they have increased in December month last year. And when you look at the other foreign institutions and so on, they are consistent because it's a good IT company. But one thing the mutual fund guys would do is like they will not offload. They will not uh, offload or buy anything for us. They will wait for opportunities. As they have said you here, 2018, that article just says on top, you know, the target is 2018. But when you look at inside, many miss the detail that it is given a two year target. Okay. So that is also important. Are you okay to wait for two years to get this profit of how much? Say 28 percentage. So this is what you will get. This is what the target they are saying. I don't know if it will achieve. We'll see that also. See, tomorrow, that is on 20th April, I expect I enforces to jump. Till where it could uh, right now the market is closed. It has closed at 1562. Okay, it has been falling like this, and I expect a 1582 as first target and 1604 as second target. I expect these ones. Okay, I'm not saying it's gonna go up like this, it will fall down also. But this is the target it could hit tomorrow. If you are a swing trader, you could utilize this. And the other thing I want to highlight is like the stock has most chances that it could hit in this range. So which range is this? This is the range I'm talking about. So the strategy to buy and uh, see, I know uh, many different people would be looking at this video. I specifically explain you on how I usually do and how I try to gain benefit out of it. It's not just I'm pushing something to you. So you have to pay attention on what I'm trying to say here. First, do not hurry to buy. Okay, since it's falling, since it's falling, the stock is falling, do not ever hurry to buy all in one. For example, if you have 10,000 rupees, do not put everything in and then stuck in here, get stuck in here. When the stock falls, then you're stuck at this particular range, right? So do not do that. The strategy, I will explain you a little bit more also. Uh, but the key thing is like you have to have patience and that makes you control your profits. 
Okay. So when you have patience, then you could gain more, much more profits than you're impatient. Okay. Let me quickly compare with, um, so this is a, see, like when you start collecting in here, small chunk by chunk, let it come to thousand also. So it's a 500 rupees discount. I'm, I'm still aiming. Let it fall to here also, but start accumulating little by little. So you, you know where it's going to head. So if I know if it's going to go till that end, this is the depth of the well, then I could slowly put little by little money and then get the good benefit out of it isn't it rather than buying here because like a uh, yes bank uh, uh, yes security is told so and then it's not right to put all in and buy like that okay that's the strategy i want to explain you and Ripro, i want to compare because this is also a very good company with a uh, good financials good net income good ebitda and good eps and so on so everything looks good and even the shareholder pattern uh, pattern is also good and uh, let us come to our quick strategy so look look at this so what you get here when it bottoms is like 41 percent around and when you when it you know turns from here then also you get around 13.65 percent i would say like uh, six months to one year is a reasonable to get at least 10 percent profit okay and how you could do here i'll explain you a simple strategy say you have 2500 rupees okay and uh, the the price is here so I'll buy first 500 rupees in here. These are the supports and resistance. These are very important, okay? If you look at Infosys also, let me go back here. Then you'll know the green ones are the resistance and the red ones are the supports, right? And once it breaks one line, then you should expect the other supports to follow. Little by little, it will fall down and then you'll see it coming. I don't see it fall, uh, falling below this, okay? That's why I have been, uh, highlighted in here as a range and when we come back to Wipro it's the same supports and resistance in here these are the support lines also look at this you buy in here for 500 rupees and then here for 1000 rupees again when it comes to this range and then you save your 1000 rupees to break this do not put all in here then once it comes here then you will not have capital to invest an average okay so this is a simple strategy I want to explain and then you could you know at least aim for around 40% or 35%. That is also a decent percentage returns when you hold and plan your strategies well. Okay, Then you could beat the market also. That's all I had. If you have any further queries, leave it in the comment. If you like the video, if you have watched till this place, then give us a thumbs up. That gives us more motivation. Share it with your colleagues who are new to market and wanted to learn more on stock market. They could get little benefit out of it. Thank you. See you next video. Until then, take care.